Hi guys, this is the 100 day project, the series where I do a small craft project every day for 100 days in a row. So even if you only have 30 minutes a day to spend crafting, these videos are perfect for you. So I am hoping they will inspire you and motivate you and maybe you can even craft along with me. So welcome, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. Still not bored with this journal yet. I absolutely love it. I have a couple more ideas for this one. Um, I keep telling you guys, I need to make a pocket here. I am, I am, I'm going to this week. Uh, but there are a couple of pages in here, like this one over here. Yes, it is a beautiful one. You cannot see it. It has a, a little bit of a structure. It's a vintage sort of um, stationary uh, paper. Um, I did store an edge of the on the other side. But I think I want to do something, a small sort of embellishment on this one. Now, I love this page. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to make something here. Yes, I want to make sort of a nice cluster on this edge. Just as decorating, not as a pocket. I'm going to leave a little bit more room maybe for some journaling. I don't know. I'm going to use this page. I'm going to make something beautiful. Uh, again, I'm going to pull out all the stops. Let me show you the supplies that I'm using for today. I have this plastic pouch with some bits and bobs that I keep for this uh, project with just some scraps, some labels. These are from Tracy Fox and such. And, you know, just cute little stuff that I still want to use, some lace and such. So I'm going to use my bits and bobs um, from this project. Also, probably going to use some of these. Still have a box full of the die cuts. The die cut set is from Tim Holt. It's from Chaps Chapter 3 Collector. There are three uh, sets of them. Love them. Absolutely love them. So, some of this. Now, uh, I'm going to do some stamping. I've taken out uh, Eccentric because it's really, really beautiful. <laughs> and then the two sample ones, the dates from the past. Yes, it's by a Creative Expressions from Sample. I got a couple of questions about those. Yes, they are wonderful. I agree. I love them. Um, I have my pack of ephemera snippets. Yes. From Mr. Tim Holt. Also took this one out. I've had this one in my collection for oh, quite some time. Um, I don't think if they are available anymore. They are gauge dials from Mr. Tim Holtz. Uh, love them. Never used one of them. I'm going to use one of them in here. As you can can see, they have like this center in the middle with a dial on them. Yeah. Uh, I want to use a brad for this. So also brad. Going to do some stamping. So I'm going to be inking. I have two colors out at the moment. My uh, Nocturno and a uh, pine cone from Versafine Claire. Um, glue, scissors. I don't know. Some I might make a tap from from a piece of fabric. I don't know. Don't know. But let's get let's get started. Let's take out my page. Here it is. I put a clamp on it so that it will stay open. This was underneath, but it's a little bit bulky, uh, bumpy. So I just took it out, and now I have like more of a clear page. Let's start with layering and making a beautiful collage. Okay, let's start um, with like the sort of focal point, the eye catcher. Yeah, um, I do not want, there are a couple of black ones in here. I do not want the black one. So I'm going to take out the black ones immediately. I also need them to look a little bit grungy. So these will work. Yeah, this will work. This is too modern. That will work. Ooh, that's lovely. But there's a lot of red in here. I do not, do not want to use this one. Don't have a lot of choices, love. Don't have a lot of choices. Ooh, but it, they're so beautiful. I need to start using them. Yes? Okay. So, um, let's see. Which one? Which one? This one? Yeah. Let's just do this one. Because they're all very pretty. So, I want to have this on here. On the top for sure now I actually want this to be sort of a strip on the outside maybe I'll use another one of these strips from Trace Fox let's just see this is sort of faux washi tape yeah that looks nice um, 
I need to add a little bit of this green. I have this ticket shape. Yeah. Maybe something like this. Really like it. Yeah. What else? What else? Um, I love this piece here. Can you see this piece? That piece is beautiful. Absolutely love it. Maybe underneath here. Like so. Somewhere, yeah. Then we need something on the top. Taking bits and bobs out. Yes, also need to make this one. I need to make this one. Not in this project. Um, here's the acetate for the envelope. I already used this one somewhere and I think it's two focal points. So not this. Ooh, numbers. Want to do numbers? Yes, lovely. Already looks lovely. I need some more of the green. It's all too short of long. There's a number here. Well, <laughs> there's a number everywhere, love. But what if we were to put like this on the number? Does that look nice? Shall I zoom you in a little bit? Yeah, that looks better. I think I want to have a number here. I need something sort of there. Yeah. Then I'm going to put in a brad. One of these small ones, of course. Here in the middle. There you go, brad. Yes. I was thinking, I have a couple of these. Um, yeah, these smaller ones. Can we put this underneath the brad? Well, we're just gonna. We're just gonna. I think I need something here, but we can also do some stamping in the background. Like some stamping underneath here. How about, yeah. And then some over there. Have nice, have like a big sort of collage stampy thingy. Do I need one more green element? Oh, no, actually, another arrow. Could look nice. I don't know. Um, first, guys, what I'm going to do. I am going to ink this one. Stamp on this one. Put a brad through this one. Ink all around those. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mental picture, mental picture. Um, I'm not using these for distressing. I'm using, well, vintage photo. We were using vintage photo for this one, weren't we? Uh, where is it? It's here. Brushed corduroy, no thank you. Vintage photo. Shall we cut it to size first? Maybe. That's a smart thing to do. Lovely. If you don't have these, you could also use normal washi tape, of course. Because why not? Shall we... Um, double distress it with some black soot. Yes, we shall. We shall. I am so happy, guys. A lot of you out there are uh, telling me, I love this project so much. It's giving me so much inspiration. It makes me so happy. Yes, me too. 
It makes me even happier that it makes you happy. <laughs> I think I'm sort of finding my own sort of style with this. Don't get me wrong. I did some flower fairies the other day. And that made me real happy too. There's already some vintage photo on here. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this here and there. Yes. Will this hold the ink? Because it's actually sort of a little bit shiny. Yes. We're doing everything. Why not? Are we even doing this? Yes, but not with the black suit. Just with the vintage photo. It's a piece of the ledger. And this is a piece of the numbered paper. Do you want to do some splattering on this one? Probably do. Probably do. And then this little guy. Is there anything else that we took out? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. No, that's it for now. Except I want some splatters there. I am keeping these nearby because we're probably going to add something somewhere. That's what we do. Uh, some splattering. Yes. Do we have a page that we can use underneath? Piece of scrap, we do, we do. Um, yes, vintage photo, of course. I'm not gonna do this with the very dark pine cone. Tada. Mm. While well, we're here, a little bit and just little bit that's that's a little bit some more than there you go oh this one yes but this also needs a word or something something or other does this need any splattering can you stop it already with the splattering lady almost <laughs> i have one more thing to splatter there you go, there's no ink left on it. Okay, perfect. Now, I'm going to attempt to do the um, sort of collaging from top to bottom. I don't know if that'll work, but I will attempt to do it. To make this into a whole piece before we glue the rest on. And then we can see where we need a little bit more stamping. I made a collage. Um, I'm going to go from top to bottom, but I do want to have something on here. Yes, something stamp. So I'm taking out, well, this says num, does it? Uh, we'll make it fit, we'll make it fit. Number 126, will it fit? Let's see. Oh, we can fit number 26. <laughs> Completely different number. But that's okay. I'm gonna do black or I'm gonna go pine cone. I'm gonna go pine cone, why not? Number 26, see? Lovely. Normally I would stamp something on the back, but it's going to be attached with a brad so it won't flip over. I'm just gonna attach it. Already punched the hole. Well, I just use my all guys. Oh, that looks lovely. Already like it. Don't know if I'm gonna sort of move it about. Okay, then I want something here. I think I want to use the, the brown color again for this one. And let's just use some. Um, Something else from this lovely sample set. Um, something we didn't use before. Well, hopefully I don't. I don't even know. 
I'm sorry, that's loud. Is this too big? We'll manage, we'll manage. Be careful. I'm just going to do it on the end here. Don't even know what it says. Something. Oh, uh, December 10th, 10th 19, 18. Long time ago. <laughs> 18 long time ago. Ooh, it's lovely though. It is lovely. So I'll put this here, here, and here, and here, and here, and here. There, does it need any more? No, it doesn't. Don't think so. Maybe I want something small on this edge. I have a stamp here that says number. It's very tiny. Let go of my hands. Thank you. Oh, now it says no. No. <laughs> Supposed to say number. I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't think I want to stamp anything on here. I'm not stamping anything on this one. Are we stamping anything on this one? No. No. I'm done with the stamping for this, but not done with stamping underneath. So let's start layering. This one needs to be attached to this one. Just doing one step at a time, hopefully it'll turn out nice. Yeah. And this needs to go over here, and this needs to go underneath, and this needs to go there. Maybe we'll do this one, yeah. I'm just gonna put some glue here. Doesn't need a lot. I'm hoping I put it in the right place. Yes. I'm going to glue this underneath this strip. Not all the way to the end, just a little bit above. Then I'm going to put this on here. Why is this so crooked? I don't know. I'm so bad at this, guys. I am so bad. I am so sorry. Let's first glue this one on. Because we're certain about this. Someone told me um, in the comments that Joey the Fee does it this way as well. I never really realized it. Could be. Blue everywhere. Let's see. Well, we managed. Yay! Good job, me. I'll get there, guys. I'll get there. I do think it's really, really nice, though. Okay, let's see how this will look on a page. Well, fantastic. Fantastic. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take out a pencil, I'm going to cheat for a little bit. I'm going to do this, 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 this. Don't stamp here or a little bit behind there. But now we know sort of where this whole thing is going to go. I do love it. Do you like it? I really like it. Let's do some stamping here in the background. 
when I put this here, there was some splattering in the background and I just, I'm, I'm sorry guys, I just really like it. So I'm just gonna do the, some, some splattering here. Yes, so first some sort of background. There, and probably also here on the top. There, just there. And a little bit here. Yes. That's it. Now for the real stamps. I'm thinking um, this eccentric set that I have that I really, really like. When I bought it, I was like the five. I'm going to use the five so much. And then this pointy thing, I'm going to use it so much. I hardly ever use it. So I'm thinking maybe I could... Put this here but then i will stamp it once it's already on because i also want it to be stamped on here and um what else don't know don't know this one here underneath yeah We're just doing a puzzle. Putting this here. Maybe something here. Oh, handle with care. And here. Telephone number or something. There's a lot of space left here, but I think I'm going to keep that space. Sometimes space is nice. Right? Yeah. So basically, I'm not going to stamp anything underneath. So I'm going to glue this on first. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go, Art. You can tell it's getting a little bit warmer because... Um, you can I can not, notice the consistency of the glue. It's getting thinner. That's because it's, going, it's getting a little bit warmer in my conservatory. I think I made this too long. Did I? Yes. I need to cut it here, but that's okay. We can do that. That's why we have scissors, right? Yes, scissors. Um, I'm going to do uh, the pine cone. Yes, let's do the pine cone. Let's do a smaller block. Now, this is a little bit wobbly, so I'm hoping this, this will work. It does. Ooh, lots. I still love the color so much. Such a great color. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, then we had the pointy finger here. Will that be tricky? A little bit. A little bit tricky. Ooh, a lot tricky. Ooh. Hmm. I need to sort of figure this out because there's a brat underneath. It will not um, be nice. It won't be nice. So let's see can we put anything underneath here without sort of ruining it the whole thing i need to have something underneath let me quickly have a look guys fixed it i have this you want to put it on <laughs> where's my pointy finger yes it will work it'll work let me test it out Yes, it looks amazing. Oh, I love this color so much. Have I told you I love this color? Really? Yeah, I love this color. There's a bit of his finger missing. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, while we have this here, let's just do the telephone number. Telephone number, and uh, we were gonna have this here. 
Yes, I'm no Whitaker. Well, I am. Can't you tell? Hmm. Should have been lower. But hey, what can you do? Um, did we? Yes, we had reserved or something. Did we not have reserved? Hello, I'm missing one. Yes, here it is. Reserved. The question is, am I happy? No, I'm not. I'm not. Do you know what we need here? Coffee. We're gonna do coffee. I'm going to keep this underneath because it makes for like a flatter surface. Now let's see where we want the coffee to be. Well, I don't want coffee at all, but you know, I actually really don't like coffee. But you probably know already know this. Um. Just gonna do this part, yeah? Okay. Yes, I'm going to ink all over uh, this stamp here that says luggage. But that's fine. I'm gonna move it about like so. A little bit more coffee over here. Yes, much better. Only, also need some coffee here. <laughs> oh yes, makes all the difference, right? Do we want more coffee? A little bit. Yes. Now I'm happy. Are you happy here? No, we're not happy there. We need something. We need one more. Oh, my little stars. Yes, my little stars. It's the perfect spot for my little stars. And then we're done. Are you going to do it? No, we're going to do it with this one, of course. Ta-da! See? Now it's perfect. Let's look at the end result. Here it is. Love it. Love it. Let me um, get you sort of up close. Yes, um, I inked the top. I just went a bit overboard, but that's okay because it also did this on the bottom. So it's like it's supposed to be there. Yes, with the pointy finger missing the tip of his finger, but that's okay. <laughs> and you can move this if you want to. It's an interactive page even. No, I did not make this into a talk spot. This is like, this is what it is. If you were a journaler, yes, a real journaler, you could sort of journal in between here. People do that. I am actually not a real journaler. I'm more like a maker of journals. Yeah. Luggage, check number. It's all sorts of loveliness. It's so, so lovely. Well, guys, that's it for today. Another lovely project in this one. Yes, we're, I'm still not finished. I'm still not. No. Um, pocket. Something here. I want to make this actually into two pockets. Let's see if that if I can fix this. But you know, it's getting there. It's getting there. Oh, uh, I want to show you because I added a little bit something without you knowing. Um, you might have seen my uh, mini envelope uh, cluster video. Yes, it was um, Monday morning, and I just put one here uh, as a talk spot. Isn't that lovely? And it's also like a tab. It also functions as a tab. So. Yes, I put something in without you seeing it, but that's okay. Um, if we are done with all the um, sort of pockets and embellishing, I'm going to also going to make a couple of uh, small tags and journal cards to put in every uh, pocket. Yeah, so no, we're not done yet. I hope to see you again tomorrow with another video for the 100 day project. See you then. Bye, guys.